वै श्री गुरु नम ओं विष्णु पादाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देश तारिणे वाचाकलूभ्य कृपा सिंधोभ्य पति पावने वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गाधर श्रीवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण वेलकम एवरीबॉडी ऑल द वर्जी वंडरफुल डिवोटीज फॉर दिस भक्ति सेशन last class that's yesterday we discussed about how you just discussed about the devotees various emotions that they exhibited just at the thought of separation of krishna krishna is not yet gone but the very thought of krishna is going to leave that is something which uh, brought about so many emotions of separation and then finally we saw that how krishna was honored with different instruments and bugles and worship and so much of pomp He was honored before Krishna departed. So today's class, we are going to see in the first eleven verses, we'll be seeing how the ladies of Hastinapur were very Krishna conscious in their discussion, a Krishna conscious talk that is going on. And then the next uh, six verses, we will see how Krishna departs. Now Krishna leaves the, uh, for Dwarka. He leaves Hastinapur to go to Dwarka. So this will be our topic of discussion for today. 20 to 26 of the 10th chapter of the first canto of shrimad bhagavat okay so let's begin without any further ado okay. 1 and 20 सन्ोन्यसीजल्प उत्तम श्लोक चेतसा कौरवेन्द्र पुस्त्रीण सर्वश्रुति मनोहर एब्सॉर्ब इन द थॉट ऑफ द ट्रांसेंडेंटल क्वालिटीज ऑफ द लॉर्ड हू इज ग्लोरिफाइड इन सिलेक्ट poetry the ladies on the roofs of all the houses of hastinapur began to talk of him this talk was more attractive than the hymns of the vedas mm. more attractive than the hymns of the vedas as such just recently there were brahmanas we discussed about the various brahmanas were discussing about uh, uh, different different swasti vachan auspicious blessings upon krishna and those were all from the vedas so now uh, the brahmanas were giving some blessings to krishna that was the last verse right they were giving some blessings to krishna and some the and bhagavatam says they were not at all appropriate blessings what is this uh, krishna may you have good life he is giving he is jivanam sarva bhuteshu he is the one giving life to everybody and you are telling you have a good life what is this nonsense like that so they were condemning everything that is connected so they were the shruti mantras but here the talks which are going to now happen because who is going to have this talks kauravendra purastri kauravendra purastri ram the ladies of the kuru dynasty the kurus now the talks that they are going to have is sarva shruti manohar they are attractive even to the vedas yes even vedas find these talks very attractive so they are definitely going to be mind captivating more attractive than the vedic hymns and that is something we are going to discuss that means much more than the blessings of the brahmanas from the vedas something much sweeter is going to come although it's a casual conversation anyonyam asit anyony ek dusre ke sath asit sanjal pe baat kar rahe the but what is important uttama shloka chetasa there are completely glorified in choice poetry and that is 
our Krishna. And because they are completely Krishna conscious in their hearts, their talks are recorded in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Yes, the talks are very Krishna conscious. The consciousness is soaked in Krishna. Okay. So two things Prabhupada tells us. The first thing Prabhupada tells is that anything connected to Krishna is Shruti actually. Now, we have got many Acharyas. Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Narottam Das Thakur, Vishwanath Chakrati Thakur, Baladev Vidya Bhushan. They are all our glorious Acharyas in Gaudiya Parampara. Yes. And some of these Acharyas have written commentaries in Sanskrit. And some of them have written literatures in Bengali. There is no problem. Shruti does not depend on the language. Yes. Bengali, Sanskrit, oh, that is Marathi, that is Tamil, that is Malayalam. No, it doesn't matter. Absolutely doesn't matter. Anything which are songs which are sung by such great Vaishnavas who are having that Uttama Shloka Chetasa, the consciousness of completely being soaked in Krishna, the language is immaterial, that is also Shruti. This is the first point Prabhupada is teaching us. Yes, language is immaterial, but anything which is sung by a devotee whose heart is completely soaked in Krishna is a Shruti Mantra, number one. That is the first point we learn in the purport. What is the second point that we learn? The second point is that uh, all these ladies, correct? Now, because they were completely absorbed in Krishna conscious uh, service attitude, because of that absorption, they have been empowered to speak words which are more attractive than Vedas. So that is what is explained. Because see the Vedas, the Upanishads and such sections, if somebody reads the Vedas, Upanishads without any blessings of Acharyas and uh, is reading without a Guru, not under proper guidance, just theoretical study somebody is doing, most of the times people reach impersonal conclusion that God is some impersonal light. That is the conclusion that people reach. On the other hand, it is said that uh, a person who has a spiritual master or has a service attitude, so only with the service attitude, favorable service attitude to Krishna. Anukulena Krishna Krishna Anu Shilanam Bhakti Ruttama. Such a person is able to go through the confidential parts of the Vedas and understand Bhakti and practice Bhakti. Because of that favorable mood and the consciousness that, that they had towards Krishna, their words became more meaningful and uh, more pleasing to the heart of Krishna than the words which were spoken by Brahmanas recently. Yes? Birth, caste, none of these matters when it comes to devotional service. Hmm? So it, does, it absolutely doesn't matter. Vyadasya charanam ruvasya chavayo vidya gajendrasya ka kubjayam ki munama rupa madikam kim sudhano danam Vamseko vidurasya yadava pater ugrasya kim purusham bhakti atushyati kevalam nacha guner bhakti priyo madhava. This is a beautiful uh, Padyavali shloka that comes. It says that vyadasya acharanam. Now, vyada is one kind of dharma the butcher. Now, please don't, uh, we'll not get into much details. He's a butcher, but he knows everything about dharma. He is a person with very great consciousness. We'll discuss about him later. But point is, Although he didn't have external acharan, he's slaughtering cows, but he's very learned, very, very great devotee of Lord. Vyadasya acharanam, Druvasya chavayo. Dhruva did not have age, the right age. That was a material disqualification. But he had great devotion. Uh, Vidya Gajendra Syaka. Gajendra never went to any Gurukul or any, he did not have any formal schooling or training in Akshara. But he was able to do Jajapya Paramam Japyam, Prajanmanya Nishikshitam. He was able to Memorize the shlokas from previous birth and recite it. Hmm? Then, Kubjayam Kimun Nama Kubja was not very famous. Kubja was not a very beautiful lady. She was also the maidservant of Kamsa. That was her reputation. But still, Kubja also got devotion. Kim Sudham no Dhanam. Sudhama did not have any material wealth. Where did he have wealth? But still, he had great wealth of Bhakti. Then, <coughs> Vamseko Vamsa did it was a Siputra, the son of a Shudrani. 
कुछ करता हूँ रूस बॉडी ऑफ माता जी ladies they are not so learned brahmanas but still their bhakti was more pleasing to the heart of krishna than the vedic hymns of the brahmanas all right so now the box what exactly the camera has now gone to this kauravendra purastri and what talks they are going to do now they are going to get the microphone also and what talks did they actually have is going to be uh, spoken in the next 10 verses let's see the 21st shloka so in this shloka the first thing they are going to begin is by establishing krishna's true position yes so they they are not just and you will find that this whole conversation is very very philosophical it's a very philosophical section it is not something which is you know uh, simple or some kind of casual talk going on so it's very philosophical discussion that they have सवई किलाया पुरुष पुरातनो या एक आसीद अविशेष आत्मनि अग्रे गुणे भ्यो जगदात्मनिश्वरे निमिलतात तात्मनिशिसुत्त शक्तिशु Translation by Shilapurva Shilapurva ki jai. They said here he is the original personality of Godhead as we definitely remember him. He alone existed before the manifested creation of the modes of nature, and in him only, because he is the supreme Lord, all living beings merge as if sleeping at night, their energy suspended. Ah, see. So they are saying that he is the original personality of Godhead. So these ladies know philosophy very well. yes they are very well aware of the philosophy and they know very clearly that uh, when the living entity just like we have day we have night similarly the universe also has day and night correct and when the universe has day then all living entities come out to do their karma and when the all the universe has night that time all the jivatmas are inactive there is no karma happening and everybody is in the navel of garbhodaksha vishnu and then again when the day of the universe starts everybody comes out and then again in night they are in the womb of garbhodaksha vishnu and finally when brahma's lifetime is finished then the entire universe along with brahma and all the jivas go in the womb of mahavishnu and they are lying there sleeping waiting to get the next karma uh, the next bodies as per their karma and swabhav so they know so they are telling very clearly that this is the procedure that has been happening and that personality in whose womb everyone sleeps when there is no creation there is inactivity that original person that means the source of that personality source of that purusha because mahavishnu garbhodaksha vishnu shridaksha vishnu they are called purusha avataras the source of that purusha avatar is krishna he is the adya purusha that's what they call him avai kilayam purusha puratano purusha puratana puratana means that original who is the origin of garbhodaksha maha and श्रदक्षा विष्णु यह एक आसीद अविशेष आत्मन यस 
now what may happen is that the whole creation may be uh, dissolved nothing may exist but this person will exist yes he is the only one ya ek asid avishesha atman even everything is finished yes he exists you know one another meaning of shesh you know you know shesh nag shesh why is called shesh shesh means jo shesh rehta hai who remains so when the universe universal destruction is happening that time what happens is that there is heavy wind that blows the water level of the garbhoda ocean that rises up at the same time shesha becomes very angry the snake the snake bed of lord vishnu becomes very angry and he says you people you rascal living entities what are you doing we gave you such a wonderful opportunity to practice devotion service and go back to god but you people are not utilize the opportunity so he gets very angry and he burns everything with his fire coming from his mouth and who remains shesh he is the only one who remains that's why he is called shesh but even after such universes are also destroyed correct universes are destroyed then there is no universe that time also one who remains is krishna agre gunebhyo jagatatmanishvare yes he existed before creation and even after dissolution he is the one who exist yes he is the one who exist and nimilitam nishi sukta shakti shu now when there is nishi the night of the universe that time everything merges into this person that is what is meant so they establish krishna to be the original supreme personality of god it propad mentions in the purport that there are some shruti mantras also regarding this yes adyo narayano asin na ishano na brahmo na apo na indro like that na na yenita yes then they say narayano ekadash rudro bijayate narayano brahmo bijayate narayana dwadash adityo bijayate narayano ashtavasu obijayate so like that all the ashtavasu they come from narayana the dwadash ma aditya the 12 adityas they come from narayana ekadash rudra the 11 rudras they come from narayana brahma the creator he also came from narayana but adyo narayana asi originally there was narayana like that and the same narayana in bhishma dev section he was told adya narayana is krishna he is the original narayana so that is mentioned also you see before even the creative energy took birth yes creative energy is also very important and before even the material energy was uh, in its latent state before that also lord existed so krishna existed even before the material energy the creative energy the destructive energy all these forces even before they existed krishna existed in his abode as the one absolute truth correct in his spiritual world so that is mentioned so that is the first verse where they explain about the position of krishna so now they explain that how he is beautifully uh, as the god g o d god god means g for generator o for operator and d for destroyer so these are the three functionalities of god generator operator destroyer so this personality krishna has the second verse now the next verse that they're going to speak is how beautifully he is orchestrating the generation operation and destruction through material energy that we'll see now 22 सैव भूय निज वीर चोदिता स्वजीव मया प्रकृति सृक्षति अनाम रूपात्मनिपना विदित सनो नु ससार शास्त्रकृत the personality of godhead again desiring to give names and forms to his parts and parcels the living entities placed them under the guidance of material nature by his own potency material nature is empowered to recreate ah uh, so this is how he has found a system he is not directly in any ways involved in creation but he has empowered the material nature to carry out the activity of sristi 
സ്ഥിതി ആൻഡ് പ്രളയ സൃഷ്ടി സ്ഥിതി പ്രളയ സാധന ശക്തി ഭൂപാദ്യം Yes, because Prabhupada has used it in the purport. Is, is Bhagavad Gita 9.7. Sarva bhūtāni kaunteya prakṛtim yānti māmikam kalpakṣaye punastāni kalpādo visrijāmyaham O son of Kunti, at the end of the millennium, all material manifestations enter into my nature and at the beginning of another millennium, by my potency, I create them again. Yeah. So this is what is uh, highlighted by Prabhupada in the purport. Potency. Yes. Krishna's potency is highlighted here. 9.7. Again. And how? Again and again. Again and again. so this process of srishti stiti and pralay is a eternal process that's happening again and again again and again again and again with a singular purpose and what is that purpose singular purpose is the jeevatmas again become krishna conscious janasya krishna vimukasya devad adharma shilasya sudukkitasya what has happened to these jeevatmas they are sudukkitasya very very frustrated in this world why because adharma shilasya they have taken to irreligious activities and why have they taken to religious activities because of janasya krishna vimukasya they have t- turned their face away from krishna yes that is why they are they are so dukkhi they are experiencing great frustration so what is krishna coming and telling the krishna has created his material universe in such a way that the material universe will force the living entity some or the other to become krishna sanmukha you develop sanmukha towards krishna don't be krishna vimukha don't turn your face away from krishna you have suffered so much now turn your face towards krishna so if we carefully observe this material world at every single point of time it points us towards turning our faces towards krishna turn towards krishna turn towards krishna surrender to krishna become krishna sanmukha so that's how the world is created and somehow if the world doesn't understand not everyone has the brain to sit in this material world observe and then become krishna conscious and that is why what has krishna done maya mukta jeeva nice vata krishna gyan krishna er kripa kaile jeeva veda puran so krishna what he has done he has given us vedas and puranas the vedas and puranas are very exhaustive nobody is going to study and he made it very simple so that is why it is okay fine don't study vedas puranas it's very long you cannot study actually have you analyzed how much time how many shlokas does vedas have 10 power 10 shlokas and if you want to complete reading 10 power 10 shlokas complete reading just reading i'm not taking out understanding or giving discussion you want to complete in 50 years you have to read 2.5 lakh shlokas every day so if you read 2.5 shloka lakh shloka read samajhne ki baat nahi kar lo read then you will be able to complete 10 before that 12 years of panini grammar study is important without understanding this grammar you will never be able to study also properly so 12 plus 50 basa tuk sal gaya aapka fir bhi padhai hua ek bar kiska char vedon ka sochiye anybody want to give it a try that is why we say shila prabhupad ki jai compared to that thode bahut prabhupad books mile usko pad lo bas <laughs> study prabhupad books nicely yes 700 hundred shlokas bhagavad gita 18000 shlokas bhagavatam appears very easy compared to this huge literatures that we have we can't study all of that and that is why prabhupad concludes this but paragraph that bhagavad gita is guiding principle for every human being but by the spell of material energy people do not carry out their life as per bhagavad gita then he says shrimad bhagavatam is a post graduate study of bhagavad gita So one who has thoroughly understood Bhagavad Gita should study Bhagavatam. But unfortunately, 
people don't have taste for bhagavad gita nor they have taste for bhagavatam kya kare isne maya mein bas gaye so even if you don't have taste to take shelter and study the shastras yes gita shrimad bhagavad gita bhagavatam and for us godiya vaishnavas shri chaitanya charitamrita so for that four are four very important books we should always read gita bhagavatam cc and nekrodi nekrodi devotion even when you studying these four books throughout life there is no problem nothing else is required but we have to study these books otherwise we will not be able to get out of clutches of maya so now prabhupad is an acharya was given the purport much ahead but now these kauravendra purasthris are going to explain that who can uh, who can realize krishna because now they have given the position of krishna then they gave how he orchestrates this world very nicely but who can realize him and how to realize him that is explained in the next shloka savayam yat padamatra surayo jitendriya nirjita matarishvata pashyanti bhakti ओनलीफाइन So who can realize? Oh, who can realize are these great devotees whose heart is completely cleansed of material consciousness, and how that will happen by the process of devotional service in full control of life and senses. Okay. Our Rupa Goswami's path is clearly given. Our bhakti starts with what sense control? Noi. Noi is a very beautiful literature. Any random person take shelter of anyway. Starting with how to become a Goswami, then how to become a pure devotee, and how to become an associate of Lord in Radha Kund. So that is the how the three step flow of this literature of Upadesha Amrit, chapter of instructions. We find so starting it starts with first become Goswami sense control. Prabhupada in this entire purport has focused only on sense control. Correct. and he tells that karma jnana and yoga also offer sense control yes the actually the purpose of path of karma is to purify senses so they regulate they regulate the senses the path of karma the path of jnana they try to negate the senses naiti 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 the path of yoga they artificially suppress the senses but this karma jnana and yoga all three are artificial and that is where you can give so many examples of people on the path of karma karma nishthas people on the path of jnana people on the path of yoga who have failed to control senses and thus fallen down to either lust anger or greed any examples you can all give vishwamitra who vishwamitra हाँ विश्वामित्र विश्वामित्र इज देयर इन पर पर आप लोग पर 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 क्या आए सोवरी मुनि सोवरी मुनि सोवरी मुनि सोवरी मुनि वाज ज्ञानी ही आल्सो फेल डाउन विश्वामित्र फेल डाउन टू मेन अकाउंट बिकॉज़ आर्टि इट्स ऑल आर्टिफिशियल दिस आर ऑल आर्टिफिशियल मींस ऑफ कंट्रोलिंग द सेंसेस सेंसेस कैन नॉट बी कंट्रोल्ड लाइक दिस या सो लाइक दिस ऑल एग्जांपल्स ऑफ ऑल एग्जांपल्स ऑफ योगीज ज्ञानीज फॉलोइंग डाउन व्हाई बिकॉज़ ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल कंट्रोल ऑफ सेंसेस ऑन द अदर एंड व्हाट इज दैट नेचुरल कंट्रोल ऑफ सेंसेस natural control of senses means to hand over the reins of our life in krishna's hands deena bandhu deena nath meri doli tere haath so we are telling the lord that please take the reins of my life in your hands that's what arjuna did arjuna gave krishna his chariot his five senses his uh, mind his intelligence and told i'll be the passenger so you control my life you control my life heirs you control my senses you control my mind you control my intelligence you control everything for me and uh, control my life yes in kurukshetra similarly a devotee also dinamandu dinanath meri doli tere haath he hands over and that happens when one consciously engages one's senses and mind in service of krishna 
Yes, that is the real sense control. To engage one's mind and senses in the service of God. And then after some time, what will happen? After some time, devotee can demand the Lord. Dina bandhu, dina na, teri doli, mere haath. Because now you can give the reins of your life in my heart. And I will control your life. Yeah, so devotee can do that. But first, our senses have to be controlled. We have to offer our senses to Krishna by uh, offering it in service. And when Krishna sees that we have offered, our, we are offering our senses, mind only in His service, then He will control the mind and senses for us. That's how it works. This Grace Radhishampu in one Japa talk gave very amazing example. She so was telling that uh, one in Radha Kunjberi is called Camp Days. There is two and Mataji and Prabhuji will come every day for Arti. And in the Arti, the Prabhuji used to be very smiling and happy. The Mataji was always very sad. So Prabhuji once asked him, why, 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 why is she, uh, your wife sad? He said, I don't know, Prabhuji. I'll ask her only. So ask her and tell me. And Mataji came and told that Mere Prabhuji ko mene bola ki hamesha bike se leke aate hai humko. Aur bike se leke aate hai to bahut sare kutte piche bhaagte hai. और ये कुत्ते क्या करते हैं ये कुत्ते जो है साड़ी का एंड फाड़ देते हैं काट काट देखिए प्रभु जी काट काट के क्या कर दिए कुत्ते ने तो इसलिए बोलते हो पति को थोड़ा गाड़ी में लेके आओ फिर कोई बात नहीं हम आराम से मंगल आरती सुबह सुबह भी आ सकते हैं मॉर्निंग टाइम लॉट्स ऑफ डॉग्स दे चेस एंड देन आफ्टर सम डेज प्रभु जी सॉ दैट द माता जी आल्सो हैप्पी नाउ एंड ही आस्क्ड द प्रभु जी सो प्रभु व्हाट हैपेंड ही सेड प्रभु मैं गाड़ी खरीद लिया फोर व्हीलर खरीद लिया अभी अभी कोई टेंशन नहीं अभी रोज मंगल आरती आराम से आ सकते हैं So, so Prabhuji was giving us this analogy. He said that uh, the car is like bhakti. Yes, dogs are good. If the dogs are there, they are not there. They are chasing us. It's morning time, evening time. Doesn't matter. Yes, why? Because you are completely safe inside. The process of yogic. So I was I extended this analogy a little bit more. Yogic process is like going on bike. Yeah, sadi phatne ka, fir dhoti phatne ka, thoda dar lehta hai. The process of jnana is going on cycle. फिर थोड़ा और एक्सटेंड कर दिया उसको वो साइकिल में जाएगा पक्का उसको कच्चा चबा जाएंगे कुत्ते यस एंड पॉर्स ऑफ कर्म इज वॉकिंग ऑन द रोड एंड कमिंग ओह वॉक एंड गो दोस डॉग्स विल भा प्रसादे गोविंदे नाइसली दे विल सी आई रिमेंबर व्हेन आई यूज्ड टू कम टू स्टेशन से कभी भी आता था पहले कुंज बेरी जाता था माय वर्किंग डेज कॉलेज डेज वर्किंग डेज इवन सम डेज इन आश्रम आल्सो आई स्टेड इन कुंज बेरी सो वहां पे जा स्टेशन मतलब कुंज बेरी एंड तब ऑटो वाले मतलब दे लूट यू नाइसली So, my fix was I always used to carry extra prasad. Any time any dog comes, turant utha ke please, Prabhu ji, take this, leave me. Mujhe chhod do. Main acha kuch khila to. So, sab kutto se dosti ho gayi. <laughs> They all became friends. Yes. But the point is that these dogs are compared to that uh, senses, which cannot be controlled so easily. Yeah. And some dogs they eat the prasad and they uh, they growl more. Yeah. Aur chahiye humko. They growl. Then what can we do? Yes. So car is always safe. Hare Krishna. Bhakti is like that safe process of car. Easiest means of controlling senses. When the dogs bark, don't bark. Doesn't matter. You are safe with Krishna. Okay. Now somebody wants to know more about Krishna. Where is that personality found? That is explained. That secret is explained by the Kauravendra Bhaskar. सवायम असवायम सत्यनुगीत सत्कतो वेदेशु गुह्येशु च गुह्यवादिभि य एक ईशो जगदात्मलीलया सृजत्यवत्यति न तत्र सज्जते ट्रांसलेशन ओ डियर फ्रेंड हियर इज दैट वेरी पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉडहेड हुज अट्रैक्टिव एंड कॉन्फिडेंशियल पास टाइम्स आर डिस्क्राइब्ड इन द कॉन्फिडेंशियल पार्ट्स ऑफ वैदिक लिटरेचर बाय हिज ग्रेट डिवोटीज इट इज ही हु ओनली इट इज ही ओनली हु क्रिएट्स मेंटेन्स एंड एनिहिलेट्स द मटेरियल वर्ल्ड एंड येट रिमेंस अनअफेक्टेड हरे कृष्णा थैंक यू ओके सो प्रभुपाद हियर एक्सप्लेन्स टू थिंग्स इन द पर्पोट so what the theme they are trying to say krishna cannot be so easily understood just by some reading of vedas if you see even brahma ji brahma ji had to read the vedas three times to come to the conclusion of bhakti yes 
so first time he read he understood karma second time jnana third time he understood bhakti so with lot of deliberation brahma was complete body is made of intelligence such a personality needed three readings of vedas to understand so lord is very confidential it is not very easy to know the lord recently we had his holiness bhakti prem maharaj who was giving us many classes he gave um, bhagavatam classes in morning and also he gave brahmachari classes in the afternoon so he was mentioning he was asking us question that was sri chaitanya mahaprabhu mentioned in shastras so you said yes is mentioned in shastras in fact parampuja loknath maharaj made a wonderful ppt in the ppt he has given 64 proofs for sri chaitanya mahaprabhu's uh, proof evidence in from shastra about sri chaitanya mahaprabhu 64 proofs he has given so i mentioned this point maharaj said very good 64 proofs are there but still why people did not know sri chaitanya mahaprabhu before or even today they are not able to find out because that is the nature of the confidentiality of shastras so previously also people studied the vedas they studied upanishads they studied shastras but they were not able to find this channa avataro this chaitanya mahaprabhu they were not able to find because the shastras will reveal the confidentiality only when there is a grace of mahajanas that's the first point mentioned the proper that empowered incarnations and devotees of lord like vyasa narada shukadeva kumara kapila prahlad janaka bali yamraj especially the propounders of the bhagavad dharma philosophy these are the powerful empowered devotees of lord who can expand and explain the vedas properly and it is only when we understand through these devotees we will be able to understand the confidential portion of vedas these are the great uh, 12 personality dwadashaymo vijaniya dharman bhagavata bhata they know the bhagavatam they know the bhagavad dharma very well these 12 personalities and similarly in following in footsteps of these personalities prabhupada was mentioning there are 12 mahajan but everybody who follows a mahajan will also become mahajan so prabhupada's one disciple said prabhupada you are 13th mahajan and prabhupada said you are 14th <laughs> you can become the 14th mahajan if you simply follow so like this mahajana's mercy the confidential truths of vedas can be revealed to all of us that's the first point mentioned by prabhupada the second pass second point again the same thing prabhupada is mentioning that the upanishads the vedanta sutras and the vedanta vedas all these things only hint about krishna they only give some small hints here and there correct they don't give the complete holistic knowledge about krishna's spiritual form his name his qualities his past times and so much of elaboration is not there that is present only in literatures like shrimad bhagavatam so this shrimad bhagavatam is actually the greatest gift which any of us can ever receive the greatest gift of uh, to humanity given by vyasadev because it uh, it is there is no nonsense is direct and that is why Shri, vyasadev also says the same thing shrimad bhagavate mahamuni krite kimva pare ishvara the second verse is asking shrimad bhagavatam mahamuni this i am mahamuni vyas i have created krite i have uh, rachana ki mn i have uh, man, you no know, compiled this shrimad bhagavatam kimwa pare ishvara what else do you need man or kya chahiye tumko that's how he is questioning don't read anything else so vyas dev is an author of the entire vedas the vedanta sutras mahabharata is telling very clearly in the shrimad bhagavatam second verse itself that please don't read anything else only read my bhagavatam right or kuch padhne ki zarurat nahi hai because this will understand the most confidentiality of the vedas is revealed here correct so the very fortunate are those who can read bhagavatam right shastras also explain fortunate is one who has a spiritual master and more fortunate is one who gets to hear from spiritual master shrimad bhagavatam and the most fortunate person is one who gets to hear from spiritual master shrimad bhagavatam regularly so such person is most fortunate okay so now the general <coughs> question which is there okay this personality supreme lord he is mentioned in the shastras confidentiality all that okay fine okay there's a question prabhu ji in our temple apart from dogs we have mosquitoes also <laughs> yes so the process of bhakti is to apply 
you can take uh, this not odomos odomos is fake pura fake hai ek bahut sundar four dots bol ke aata hai that's our bhakti process four dots 1 2 3 4 apply apply these four dots of krishna consciousness and all the maya rupee mosquitoes will be away from you okay that example we'll take in some other next next batch i will take for them okay when does he come when does he usually make his uh, advent 25th यदा ह्यधर्मेन तमोदियो नृप जीवंति तत्रैष हि सत्वत किल दत्ते भगम सत्यव्रतम दयाम यशो भवाय रूपाणि ददत युगे युगे व्हेनेवर देयर आर एन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर्स लिविंग लाइक एनिमल्स इन द लोएस्ट मोड्स ऑफ एक्जिस्टेंस the lord in his transcendental form manifests his supreme power the truth positive shows special mercy to the faithful and performs wonderful activities he does manifests various transcendental forms in different periods and ages as necessary thank you this is very similar to our yada yada hi dharmasya dane bhavati bharata abhyuttana madharmasya tada atmanam srijami aham परिणय साधूना विनाशा दुष्कृता धर्म संस्थापनाथा संभवा युगे युगे हरे कृष्ण सो इन द पर्पट शिल प्रभुपाद इज मेन्शन टू थिंग्स द फर्स्ट ही एक्सप्लेन द ईशावास्य प्रिंसिपल एंड इनफैक्ट If somebody is following Isha Vasya principle, one can live peacefully for hundred years. That is the second verse, right? If somebody is following the Isha Vasya principle, uh, then Jiji Vishesh Satam Sama Evam Tayi Nanyate Toshti Na Karma Lipyate Nare. Without getting any entanglement from in karma, one can live for hundreds. Jiji Vishesh Satam Sama Sama is years. Satam is hundred. Jiji Vishesh means have a desire. You can live for hundred years. If you are following Isha Vasya principle properly, but somebody not following Isha Vasya principle properly has no right to live, because he is simply creating burden for others. So, what is that burden that Krishna comes to annihilate? Prabhupada writes, they are the burden of those miscreants who are not fo- following the Isha Vasya principle, and as a result, they are causing havoc in society. And then Prabhupada mentions many wonderful names. and the three famous names that come always in every lila ravan hiranyakashipu kamsa yes these three names always come you want any example of demon they are the they got the first second and third prize ravan hiranyakashipu kamsa and propad includes more names that krishna came to annihilate more demons like putana agasur shakatasur and also kaliya daman his example also is given right so these are all people because of being intoxicated in their power yes in their power of material science power to exploit others power to dominate others and control others because for want of sense gratification obviously so these kind of people not following the isha vasya principle to annihilate them krishna comes personally and krishna also comes prabhupada writes to establish religious kings like yudhishthir maharaj parikshit maharaj they should be the ruling party because if they rule then the isha vasya principle will be perfectly followed and propad mentions very i'll just read one line the result is that the whole atmosphere becomes surcharged with anarchy and vicious elements nepotism bribery cheating aggression and therefore famine epidemic war and similar other disturbing features become prominent in human society when there is no lack of proper leadership so that's what happens when there is lack of leadership such such problems exist and that's why it's mentioned that krishna establishes it's all because of lack of isha vasya principle so a leader means should train his people in the isha vasya principle isha vasyam idam sarvam yat kincha jagatyam jagat tena tektena munjita magrada kasya siddham accept your quota understand everything belongs to krishna accept what is your quota and don't encroach on others quota when one understands this 
one's life will be peaceful and one will also not create havoc and disturbance for others okay so next verse they are going to say that anything connected to krishna is glorious so that is the theme of the next shloka 26 अहो अलम श्लाघ्य तम यदोकुल अहो अलम पुण्यतम मधुर्वन यदेशिय पति स्वजन्मना चंक्रमणेन चंचती How, how supremely glorified is the dynasty of King Yadu, and how virtuous is the land of Mathura, where the supreme leader of all living beings, the husband of the goddess of fortune, has taken his birth and wandered in his childhood. Hmm. So they are right now glorifying two things connected to Krishna, Krishna's Janma Bhumi. and his kula his dynasty how glorious how glorious are yadus and how glorious is madhupuri madhupuri is our mathura mathura mandala of course vrindavan comes here only krishna is born in mathura also and krishna is born in vrindavan also krishna takes birth simultaneously in both the places the 10th canto bhagavatam very clearly describes this very yogmaya is described as krishna's anuja it is not possible till the time krishna has appeared as her brother also So Krishna simultaneously appeared as the son of Devaki and also the son of Yashoda, both together. Okay. So here Shri Prabhupada in the purport mentions firstly that Krishna actually doesn't take any birth. That signs of the sun rising and setting. The sunset doesn't mean the sun is dead. and the sun rise uh, doesn't mean sun is born no sun has always been existing is just appeared on the eastern horizon and is set in the uh, western horizon just it is just scheduled times that by different different times as per the time the control of the kala this rising and setting of sun takes place similarly krishna appears and disappears and then rova writes that anyone who understands this जन्मकर्मचमेदी transport to nand maharaj in the land of vrindavan this all happened by yog maya this is a very wonderful shloka that uh, i remember in connection to this it also comes in padyavali it says shrutin itare smritin apare bharatam anye bhavan bhajantu bhava bhita aham iha nandam vanye yasya linde param brahma so he says that okay bhava bhita you are afraid in this material world okay you re, you read shruti shruti mitare some of them read shrutis some of them read smritis bharata manye some of them read mahabharat okay for what bhajantu bhava bhita those are afraid in this material existence they do this but i don't do all this aham ih nandam vande i worship nand maharaj why because in his courtyard yasyalinde param brahma the supreme brahman the paratpara tatva krishna is playing in the courtyard of nand maharaj so nand maharaj is very glorious and thus i worship nand maharaj because he is glorious so this is the mood of the kauravendra pura stri when they are talking about fortunate are the yadus because krishna is born krishna is connected to them so we will worship the yaduvasi yadukulas yadu yeah okay, all the yadukulvasis we will worship them and uh, madhupuri is a place where krishna choose to appear thus we will worship mathura yes we will worship mathura and as soon as the krishna's birth took place in mathura everything became opulent it is said that nanda and yashoda were not very very well off like 
but on krishna janmashtami they were they were giving so many cows in charity his cows had golden horns silver hoofs silken garments with golden embroidery and golden ornaments necklaces etc like this one 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 name hundreds and thousands of cows how this happened how are they able to give so many return gifts to their guests they were able to feed so many preparations in ghee itne amir to nahi the so the reason is given by gopis yes jayati te dikam janmana vraja shayata indira shashvata krahi oh jay all glories jayati te adikam aur jay ban gaya this land of madhupuri became glorious why because as soon as krishna janma happened shayata indira lakshmi ji came and shashvata atrahi she eternally made a residence in vrindavan so there was absolutely no dearth of any resources or wealth money cows kuch nahi kisi cheez ki kami nahi thi so their wealth all fortune all multiplied yes so that is another place where the fortune of madhupuri is mentioned given by gopis okay so now where is krishna going to even knows krishna ne ticket kidhar ka nikala hai ticket where is he going dwarka yes so now they are going to speak the glory of dwarka because krishna is going to go to dwarka so now their glory is turned to us tell them अहो बत स्वस्तिरस्करी कुशस्तली पुण्य यशस्करी भुवाह पश्य निदनुग्रहेशित स्मितावलोक स्वपति स्म यजा हरे कृष्ण अंडाउटेबली इट इज वंडरफुल दट द्वारक हेज रिपीटेड द ग्लोरीज ऑफ द हेवेली प्लैनेट्स एंड हेज एनहांस द सेलिब्रिटी ऑफ द अर्थ The inhabitants of Dwaraka are always seeing the soul of all the living being in his loving feature. He glances at them and favors them with the sweet smiles. Right. Okay, thank you. So here, the Dwaraka Puri and the residents of Dwaraka Puri they are glorified, right? Because they get, they regularly get, they regularly get Krishna's uh, association. they get to see the smile of krishna they see that most attractive personality krishna he is always there for them yes so dwaraka is indeed very very fortunate and so much fortunate it defeats heavenly planets also even the heavens are swa yashah swa is heavens yashah means the glories of heavens tiraskriti va dwaraka can defeat everything which is that kushastali dwaraka is called here as kushastali punya yashaskari bhua so this is the best place on the earth because krishna it is krishna's place it's connected to krishna so what ropa does in the purport is he first glorifies the great demigods indra chandra varuna vayu and uh, he glorifies their planets and he says that the modern scientist uh, also agree that these are all heavenly planets they also call it heavenly bodies no and they also believe in the relativity of time so 6 months here is their 12 hours and the other 6 months is the another 12 hours so our one day 124 hours uh, is sorry our one year is equal to their 124 hours so they are having that relativity of time they have longer duration of life they have much more enhanced qualities of sense gratification they have something called somras now Uh, somras is something which people often think is uh, some is going to be very intoxicated no it's different it is said that the somras makes a person very bright on the other end the local daru which is available in this particular world makes a person dull and crazy that will make a person very bright and intelligent upon drinking of somras a person becomes healthy upon drinking liquor over here person will get liver cirrhosis yes and somras increases life on the other end the more one drinks liquor and all is going to go towards quicker death he will die very fast so it has very opposite qualities so they have such kind of quality of enjoyment in the heavenly planets thinking of somras etc 
because what is the soma soma is moon the moon contains half of pitras and half of devatas and what they do is drinking they keep drinking somras and once in a year they eat when pitrupaksh is given they eat because for them once our one year is one day for them and devatas eat only once a day din mein ek bar khane wale devta manushya ko din mein do bar khana chahiye i am just telling what is there in shastras animals eat three times main kisi ko bol nahi raha i am just telling what is there in shastras <laughs> even devta ek bar manushya do bar janwar teen bar yes now somehow कल्चर आ गया है ब्रेकफास्ट का लंच का डिनर का तो इसलिए मैं कुछ बोल नहीं रहा हूँ एनीथिंग आस्तेउंडलीउंड but still here dwarka has defeated the heavenly planets and not just dwarka all vrindavan mathura dwarka jagannath puri these are all celebrated places in the universe they are much more celebrated than the heavens because they are hari kshetras they are connected to lord shri hari and if you see the bhakti rasamrit sindhu it says that even the residents of heavenly planets they see the residents of vrindavan mathura dwarka jagannath puri with four hands they see them as four handed form which means they see them as vaikuntha vasis they are all the residents of the kingdom of lord that's how they see another thing that they uh, propad writes is once you go to heavenly planets you have wonderful facilities but there is always an insecurity that fear is always there in the heavens that any time my punya can get over And I can be kicked out of this place. It is said that the Jivatma, as soon as his punya is over, he is not told, "Hare Krishna, Prabhu, thank you very much. Apka samay khatam hoge. Ap ap ja sakte. Namaste. Bilkul nahi. He is kicked out of the heavens. She ne punya marte lokam bishanti. It's a very heavy verse. The fellow is kicked out, and he is he falls down from the sky. Ah, like that, falling down in the form of rain. Then he mixes with the rains. He mixes with the soil. and then takes the form of a plant and then when that plant is eaten then uh, uh, by the man then he is formed in the semen the jivatma gets the form of semen and that semen is then transferred into the uh, female womb and then he gets a material body this is the whole procedure even for those who come from heaven so it is a very very complicated procedure to go to heaven also you have to come back shine punye So, Dwarka is eternal dham of Lord. In fact, the great yogis and sages at the time of annihilation take shelter of these dhams because these dhams never get annihilated. Dwarka, Mathura, Vrindavan, Jagannath Puri, they never get destroyed. So, these are places which are non-different from the spiritual world. So, anybody who has taken shelter of this spiritual world will uh, definitely be become a resident of spiritual world. actual resident of spiritual world will become all right so dwarka is glorious it's not an ordinary place in gujarat now it's not an ordinary place in up uttar pradesh jagannath puri is not some ordinary uh, city in the state of odisha it's not like that we should not go by the geographical location the spiritual location is somewhere else okay so next 28 29 and 30 they are going to speak one theme only and that theme is the fortune of the wives of krishna krishna's wives how fortunate they are what we'll do is we'll read 28 29 and 30 together and discuss noonam ratasnana huta dineshwara samarchito hyasya grihita pani bhi लॉर्ड ऑफ द यूनिवर्स कॉन्स्टेंटली रिलिश 
now the nectar from his lips the damsels of rajbhumi often the good often faint just by ex- expecting such favors mm. they are giving the fortune of krishna's wife two more we'll read and then we'll discuss together ya virya shulke na hrata swayamvare ratha pramatya chaidya pramukam hi shushmina tadyum na sambam basuta dayo para Translation: The children of these ladies are Pradyubna, Samba, Amba, etc. Ladies like Rukmini, Satyabama, and Jambavati were forcibly taken away by him from their Swayamvara ceremonies after he defeated many powerful kings, headed by Shishupala. And other ladies were also forcibly taken away by him after he killed. bhavasura and thousands of his assistants all of these ladies are glorious etah param sritvam apa appasta peshalam nirasta saucham bata sadu kurvate ya samgrihat pushkara lochana patir na jat papaiti arhiti bhir hridi sprishan translation all these women auspiciously glorified their lives despite of their uh, being without individuality and without purity their husband the lotus eyed personality of godhead never left them alone at home he always pleased their hearts by making valuable presentation yeah so uh, so the three verses glorify the great fortune of the wives of krishna how fortunate are these wives of krishna it is said there is a statement that comes in the shastras sharvari bhushanam chandro narinam bhushanam patir prithvim bhushanam raja vidya sarvasva bhushanam so sharvari <coughs> sharvari means the sky so what is the ornament of the sky what is the bhushanam or the ornament of sky clouds clouds <laughs> no nee? um. not clouds ha huh? moon not just any moon Stars. full moon full moon sarvari bhushanam chandro nari naam bhushanam pati then what is the ornament of a lady husband not any other husband krishna conscious husband ah uh. Yeah, not ordinary husband. Krishna called his husband is Bhushana. So, Prithvi Bhushanam Raja. So, who is the ornament of this earth? Krishna conscious king. Yes, Krishna conscious king. Abhi sahi hai. And Vidya Sarvastha Bhushanam. And what is the ornament of everybody? That is Vidya. Yes, Krishna conscious knowledge. Raja Vidya. राज विद्या राज गुह्यम पवित्र उत्तम प्रत्यक्ष वागम धरम सुसुखम कर्तम सो दिस राज विद्या दिस इज एक्चुअली द ऑर्नमेंट ऑफ एवरीबडी हियर सिमिलरली नारी नाम भूषण पति सो द ग्रेटेस्ट ऑर्नमेंट ऑफ अ लेडी इज द हस्बैंड नाउ हियर व्हाट टू स्पीक ऑफ दोस हुज हस्बैंड इज कृष्ण हुज हस्बैंड इज कृष्ण बिकम्स गॉड ऑफ फॉर्च्यून सो दे आर ग्लोरीफाइंग द ग्लोरीज ऑफ गॉड ऑफ फॉर्च्यून even in chaitanya charitamrit the fourth uh, chapter adi lila describes about the four uh, three types of shaktis three shaktis three types of shakti tatva described the vaikuntha vaikuntha sundaris the vaikuntha lakshmis were the first category the second category of lakshmis were described are dwarka mahishis and the third category of lakshmis are described as raja gopikas so these are the three categories of lakshmis correct so in one sense dwarka dwarka mahishis they are also shakti of lord they are they are non different from the goddess of fortune tatva vais vaikuntha lakshmi is dwarka mahishis and raj gopikas in tatva they are all shakti tatvas but of course fortune vais here the kauravendra purasthris are considering them to be fortunate than the damsels of rajbhumi but actually the Damsels of Rajbhumi are more gifted because they are in Parakya bhav. 
our acharyas have always explained even prabhupad mentions this very clearly that among the swakiya bhav and the parakiya bhav the parakiya bhav is much more confidential yes so we all know the past time of uh, pee poker in nandan we go there pee poker so that pee poker is very very uh, close to our uh, marsana mangad mangad ke paas hi hai pee poker so in uh, the pee poker ladrani comes and what happens is yashoda maiya one day she takes the haldi and she applies on ladrani's hands she is very very happy now oh, radharani you be here you every day cook raj bhog for my lala so be here and then radharani is going very happy very nice she goes home but after going home she realizes i have not taken blessings and permission from anyone what to do so i'll wash this hands but if wash if i wash the hand in my kund what will happen shak hoga kisi ko are what is this so she goes to her father's kund rishabhanu maharaj and washes hand there <laughs> and that becomes pili poker Correct. Later on, there's a lot of elaborate uh, arrangements made for Radharani and Krishna's marriage. But then, Pournamasi. The Yog Maya in Vrindavan is Pournamasi. Yog Maya in Dwarka is Subhadra Devi. So, Yog Maya Shakti in the Vrindavan is Pournamasi. So, she tells everybody that is not the right time for uh, Krishna and Radha to get married, and she says that let's not take this ahead. And whatever she says, everyone follows. But the whole purpose was she was seeing that the parakya bhav will become swakya bhav, and then that sweetness in the romance of Radha and Krishna's lila will be lost. That will be gone, and that's what she didn't want. So of course the Vrindavan girls they are more much more fortunate because uh, Krishna had relationship with them in the mood of a paramar love, parakya bhav. Of course in mundane world. Parakya bhav is considered to be very abominable, but if Radha and Krishna's relationship and Krishna's relationship with the Raj Gopikas is considered to be mundane, then great souls like Shukadev Goswami will not speak it. Great souls like Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will not speak it. He is the greatest of renunciate. Parikshit Maharaj was a dying man. He will not sit and hear about these subject matters. Yes, but he is sitting and he is relishing. Yes, so they are all. very very great great shaktis of the lord that's something you have to understand so prabhupada first purport he gives this distinguish between uh, swakhiya and parakya bhav mainly but in tatva wise all are krishna shaktis so that is the first purport and second <coughs> second uh, purport shila prabhupada glorifies and appreciates the process of swayamvara yes so especially those who were princess princesses they had this particular facility of selecting their own bride groom and there used to be different different competition there was a counselor meeting counselor was draupadi maharani and uh, the counselees were the eight different uh, wives of krishna his principal queens and each and every one of them draupadi first starts by asking question they were all very happy oh you are just one draupadi your five husbands how are you pleasing a husbands very nicely very nice <laughs> and i'm sure pandavas also may be asking krishna your one krishna your 16108 wives how do you please all your wives together itne sabko kaise sambhal lete ho they must also be asking question so draupadi then asks all these uh, queens that how did you come in contact with krishna yes how did you come in contact with krishna so any of you remember some stories Of how these eight queens, principal queens, they came in touch with Krishna. Just try whatever you remember. Whatever you don't remember, I will add. Look, Look, many heard about Krishna in the childhood. Okay, then was it easy marriage? No. Then what happened? Oh, look, many get ah, look, many get ne by a lot. Yeah, that's called Rakshasa Vivah. राक्षस की तरह जाके उठा लिया उनको और लेके आए राक्षस वेरी एडवेंचरस एंड देन रुक्मी आल्सो केम देयर वाज रुक्मी वर्सेस कृष्णा कृष्णा वाज अबाउट टू किल रुक्मी देन रुक्मी ऑल सेड टू स्पीड एंड सेस प्लीज 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 कृष्णा लीव मी इज आफ्टर ऑल माय ब्रदर आई एम हैविंग लॉट ऑफ अफेक्शन एंड लॉट ऑफ ड्रामा हैपेंस लॉट ऑफ नो एक्साइट देयर इज एक्साइटिंग रोमांस देयर इज थ्रिलर 
there is fight adventure so many things and then finally rukmini gets married to krishna in fact she writes a letter sends it through a brahmana and she gives a plan or she expresses her love for him a desire to marry and if you also want to marry me then please come and take me from ambika's ambika devi's temple yeah yes anyone else Jambavati was given uh, by Jambavan after the fight. Ah, uh-huh. ah, ah. <coughs> okay. Kalindi. So <laughs> the second was Jambavati. In fact, that is the episode of Shamantaka Jewel. In the episode of Shamantaka Jewel, Krishna gets two wives. Jambavan gives along with Shamantaka Jewel. He also gives Jambavati. in after the fight 38 days krishna and jamwan that fought and krishna had really beaten and pounded the body of jamwan and then he gives wife and then uh, when he comes back and gives the shamantaka jewel to shatrajit what does shatrajit do he gives satyabama satyabama very good next kalindi next third one tell tell please tell. kalindi kalindi is kalindi. okay kalindi kalindi krishna marry with kalindi without fighting uh, only one life one wife is a get, got him without fight uh, <laughs> actually uh, kalindi uh, krishna and arjuna are traveling in chariot and there's a very beautiful darkish complexion skin girl who's walking there and going and then krishna tells arjuna arjuna please find out what is she want and arjuna goes and finds out who are you she says i am kalindi i am the daughter of sun god yes i am the sun surya putri yamuna kalindi and uh, i am looking for a husband but that husband is not you that husband is krishna and then arjuna comes and tells krishna oh krishna she wants to marry uh, you and krishna accepts all right i accept her take her very good after kalindi anyone else Mitravinda. Yeah, Mitravinda. Who can tell the story of Mitravinda? I don't know, but I mean, Krishna challenged her brothers, uh, something like that. I don't remember exactly. Somewhere I've heard. And then he, uh, along with Mitravinda, he came to Dwarka and then married her. Correct. Kind of. they were the kings of ujjain vinda and <coughs> vinda arvind two brothers he is the princess of ujjain they were the kings of ujjain and they were not agreeing for krishna to marry her but he challenged her brothers you are right and then he married mitra vinda okay teen aur baki hai lakshmana yes lakshmana lakshmana very good lakshmana What is the story of Lakshmana? Swayamvar was there with his horse fight. The horse? Capturing the horse. Capturing? Um, horse. There is a Swayamvar of the Madhra Desh. <coughs> In that Swayamvar, Krishna wins the hand of Lakshmana. She is from Madras, South Indian Queen. Okay. Then, two more. nagnajiti na nagnajiti krishna uh, krishna had uh, defeated ox and uh, controlled ox and after uh, married nagnajiti <coughs> there was seven Nagna not Jiti. just one seven wow. mad bulls there were mad bulls seven of them and uh, the king nagnajit king he knew that only krishna can uh, you know fulfill satisfy this condition and that's why he had kept so he came and he said okay krishna you have to really fulfill so she is the princess of koshal koshala so she fights okay last badra badra correct so he, he she had five brothers the five brothers they all decide to give their uh, sister to krishna that's how it happens and badra is also married to krishna these are all the different ways in which uh, krishna gets married to different queens and then in one shot krishna gets many many 
twins together. What is that? Baumasur. Baumasur Vajra. Yes. So by killing of Baumasur, these girls only sent a letter to Krishna that this demon has kidnapped us and he has brought us here. Please save us. We don't want to marry this demon. And then Krishna comes and kills uh, Mura, he kills Bhauma. He actually takes Satya Bhama with him. Because this demon Bhauma is uh, the son of Bhumi and Krishna. And Satya Bhama is the incarnation of Bhumi. So later on Satya Bhama should not cry. So that's why Krishna starts losing. Krishna is not fighting only. When Satya Bhama cries and she is worried. And she says, Krishna maros ko. And then he kills him. And after he kills, he says that you all girls, you are free to go to your homes. And then the girls, they said that now we have been touched by this demon. We have been kidnapped by a demon. Who will accept us? So Krishna says, what should I do? You accept us. Krishna says, all right. So there were so many <laughs> sacrificial fires in marriage and Krishna married everybody. Yeah, he married everyone. So that was again, yet another thrilling way in which so Krishna performed different, different, very amazing pastimes. They are glorifying that how fortunate are these ladies that Krishna had different, different swayamvaras, defeated powerful kings, and in a very adventurous manner, they got married to Krishna. So all these ladies are glorious. Correct? Glorious. And he also produced glorious children from them, like Radyumna, Shamba, Amba, etc. All of them. This was purport number. 29, the 30th purport. Yeah. So finally, one thing that Krishna always did is he all he never left them alone. He was always making presentation, various presentations to uh, the Lord. So one thing Prabhupada clarifies that these wives of Krishna are pure devotees of Lord. Yes, and they sincerely accepted themselves as nothing but pure maid servants of Lord. And you want to render service to Krishna only. Nothing else. They just wanted to be pure maid servants. They had absolutely no tinge of enjoyment. But it's Krishna who really always, just as that is the nature of Krishna, he always meditates on how to please the hearts of his devotees. So he kept giving them many, many valuable presentations and gifts. And in fact, it is said that Krishna expanded into each and every home. He gave all his 16,108 wives he gave them one one palace. He gave each and each and every one of them ten sons and one daughter. And he personally also expanded into each one of their homes. And every wife felt that Krishna is always with me. And some of them felt he's a henpecked husband also. <laughs> he's a henpecked husband. In fact, uh, Acharya has explained that this uh, 16,000 uh, wives of Krishna were all different. Some were tall girls. So what did Krishna do? Bhagwan ne apna height bada diya, thoda. She look like that. Some of them girls had uh, little Chinese eyes. Yeah, they look beautiful, but they're Chinese. So Krishna also made little Chinese eyes and look like that. Some of them had this uh, you know, raised nose. So Krishna also had raised nose. It should match husband and wife. Some of them had just chapta nose, but they look beautiful. So Krishna also made that kind of nose. So Krishna made features exactly matching to these. Uh, Different, different queens. So that they uh, made for each other. Bole, husband, wife, ka jodi, they made for each other. They say like that. So in all his height, you know, in skin texture also, in terms of skin also, Krishna adjusted for all the gopis and he remained with them. Yes, so that is explained. Okay, so the next section is going to finish very fast. So, so far we discussed the wonderful Krishna conscious talks of Kauravendra Purastri. Now Krishna is going to Dupat or Dwarka. Evam vidagadanti nam sagiraha purayoshitam nirikshane na bhinandan sasmitena yayauhari. While the ladies of the capital, Hastinapur, were greeting him and talking in this way, the Lord, smiling, accepted their good feelings and casting the grace of his glance over them, he departed from the city. This is the beauty. 
Krishna never ever fails to reciprocate with his devotees. Right? So they were all talking amongst them. They were talking amongst them. They were talking amongst them. But Krishna gave, him, gave them a nice smile and he accepted all their devotion, all their Krishna conscious talks, all their wonderful feelings that they had, everything he accepted and then proceeded ahead. He never fails to reciprocate. He always rests. That is why he is called Akhila Rasamrat Murti. He can reciprocate with everybody. Ajata Shatruhu Prat Pratanam Gopithaya Madudushaha Parebhyaha Shankita Snehat Prayungta Chaturangina Maharaj Yudhishthira, although no one's enemy, engaged four divisions of defense, horse, elephant, chariot and army, to accompany Lord Krishna, the enemy of the Asuras, demons. The Maharaj did this because of the enemy and also out of affection for the Lord. Yes. We wanted to send off Krishna in a very great a royal fashion, in a pomp. Although Ajata Shatru, there are no more enemies. All enemies are gone. <laughs> Maybe he sent the four divisions. Yes, cavalry, elephantry, horses, elephant, chariot drivers, there is Ratha, Rathas, Rathis they are called, and the foot soldiers. The Pada, the foot soldiers. So like this, the four divisions he sent. And based on these four divisions, only Akshavanis are all calculated. Correct? So horses and elephants, their specialities, they, are, they can move in any terrains. They can move in plains, they can move in hills, they can move in for forests, correct? And uh, the chariot charioteers had uh, very nice bows and arrows and they can fight. They can fight with any anybody. So that great strength was there with the charioteers, correct? So, Krishna, yeah, he had some fear of attack. When Krishna goes alone, somebody will attack him. At the same time, he had great affection. For Krishna should be given a very royal send-off. And that's what he wanted to give. And Krishna actually wanted to say, Hare, it's, no sabka, zarurat nahi hai. it's okay. But then because Krishna was playing the subordinate, Vritya Vashyatam, that we saw. So because of that, he could not speak anything. Chupchap, he had to accept whatever Yudhishthira Maharaj is giving. Right? So both, both Lord and the devotees, they have an eternal competition. The devotee tries to please the Lord and the Lord tries to please the devotee. And this can keep going on and on. And this goes on. This is an eternal competition and transcendental leela that happens in the spiritual world. Atadurāgatān shaurīhi kuruvān virahāturān sannivartya dhridham snigdān prāyātsva nagarīn priyaihi Out of profound, Out. sorry. Out of profound affection for Lord Krishna, the Pandavas, who were of the Puru dynasty, accompanied him a considerable distance to see him off. They were overwhelmed with the thought of future separation. The Lord, however, persuaded them to return home, and he proceeded towards Dwarka with his dear companions. Yes, after this, Pandavas and Krishna's don't meet. When is the first time Krishna and Pandavas meet? Anyone know? First time when they met. Draupadi Swayamur? Yes. Draupadi Swayamur. That was the first time they met. And now in this episode of uh, post Mahabharat war, poor war, Kurukshetra war, this is the last time they are meeting. And that's why they have travelled all the distance and the way. future we are going to be separated. Krishna tells them, no, you go back and rule. You have to rule. And the Pandavas, after this, they rule for another 36 years. Yes, 36 years they rule. So that there is no meeting with Krishna. Kuru Jangala Jangala Panchalan Surasenan Sayahamunan Brahma Vartam Kuru Kshetram Matsyan Sarswatadanatha Marudhanvam Atikramya Sauvira Bhira Yoparan Anartan Margavopagach Shantavaho Managribu. O Shaumuka, the, the Lord then proceeded towards 
Kurujangala, Panchala, Shura Sena, the land on the bank of the river Yamuna, Brahmavarta, Kurukshetra, Matsya, Sar Saraswata, the province of the desert and the land of scanty water. After crossing these provinces, he gradually reached the Sauvira and Abira provinces. And then west of these reached Dwarka at last. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <laughs> so, first of all, Prabhupada says very clearly, don't do research on the route that Krishna took to come back to Dwarka. Jada research karenge ka koi fayda nahi hai. Why? Because the geography keeps changing. Correct? The Bhugal keeps changing. It's all changing. So, jada research mat mat karo. Itna sab mat karo. Don't do so much of a headache. Right? Focus on the substance. Don't focus on the root. But however, Krishna say, uh, Prabhupada writes that travel through Delhi, Punjab, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Saurashtra, and then went to Gujarat. This is what Prabhupada says. And then some people give a false theory. You know, some, you know, what is the theory of desert? Because I don't want you to remember all those days. But then I remember, I had asked my teacher how deserts were formed. So the teacher quoted, of course, their Shastra textbook and told that what happened is those days, the kings used to have a lot of desires to fight with lions. So they used to steal the lions. They used to take the lion and they used to uh, fight with them, sometimes beat them, kill them, and sometimes keep them as pets. So all the lions. So places where all lions and tigers were taken, there the population of deers and other herbivorous animals increased. And the population increased so much that they ate up all the plants and formed a desert. That was their theory. What do you all think? Please vote. Don't be neutral. Why it is wrong? Because it is for free, not free from four defects. It's mental speculation. Then how are actually deserts formed? That we study in sixth canto of Bhagavatam. Indra, after killing Vishwarup, he got sins. And if you are, if Indra is sinful, he cannot be the king of heaven. Any sinful person can't stay in heaven. He will go to hell. And that is why what he does is he divides his sin into four parts. He gives one part of the sins to the trees. So the trees develop a sap which is not edible. He gives one portion of the uh, sin to the waters, then the water develops the bubbly and foamy substance, which is contaminated. He gives one portion of the sin to the women, and the women uh, get the menstrual cycle uh, in every month, 28 days. They get that. All their lust comes out that way. And then he gives the last one fourth to the earth. And earth absorbs that sin of Indra, and then the deserts are formed. So some people say the Rajasthan desert was formed recently. But no, it existed even that time. It was always there. Last loka for today. Jaldi khatam ki humne. Jaldi chhod dunga, don't worry. I'll leave all of you early. I'll get good ratings. Tatra 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 yeir Hari pratyodya tarhana Sayam heje disham paschad gavishta gam gatastada On his journey through these provinces, he was welcomed, worshipped, and given various presentations. In the evening, in all places, the Lord suspended his journey to perform evening rites. This was, this was regularly observed after sunset. Yeah, so Krishna is always known as a person to perform his duties. Perfectly well. So one opportunity, all his devotees staying in the Kuru Jangala and all other districts, they got an opportunity to serve Krishna, to have darshan of Krishna. On the pretext of Krishna performing his Grastha Dharma very nicely. Krishna would wake up in the morning, he would go take his bath in the river, and then he would come, he would offer charity to Brahmanas, he would perform his yajna, he would come, he will offer respects to all the elders, and then he will come and sit and do his sadhana. Sadhana is to meditate. Whom to meditate on? Meditate on Supreme Lord. That's me. So he used to sit and meditate upon himself. That's how Krishna would start his day. So similarly, we see here, Krishna will always conclude his day with evening rituals. Very important. 
he, that is why he would stop he would stop and then he will not travel in the night and he will have his evening rituals and everybody was there to welcome so whatever the lord does is good for everybody that is the whole sum and substance of prabhupad's purport yeah so krishna is teaching one the ideal dharma at the same time what krishna has done good to all these wonderful people is by giving them a chance of his last darshan again because after this nobody is going to see krishna krishna is going to very soon wind up his past times so krishna visits all these portions yeah krishna doesn't get to visit only one place that is badri kashram there there are many neophyte devotees who need proper teachings of raj bhakti so they does he sends uddhava he sends uddhava there that that's the only reason uddhava stayed back otherwise krishna finished fulfills all his mission so he winds up everything he has given darshan to all of these uh, devotees here also very nice we we'll just read one portion of purport and we'll conclude please read this the lord in human society does what is the duty of everyone but sometimes he does something extraordinary and not to be imitated by the living beings his acts of evening prayer as stated herein must be followed by the living beings but it is not possible to follow his mountain lifting or dancing with the gopis one cannot imitate the sun which can exhaust water even from a filthy place the most powerful can do something which is all good but our imitation of such acts will put us into endless difficulty therefore in all actions the experienced guide the spiritual master who is the manifested mercy of the lord should always be consulted and the path of progress will be assured Thus ends the Bhakti Vedanta purports of the first canto, ten chapter of Shri Bhagavatam entitled "Departure of Lord Krishna for Dwarka." So, imitation is something which is called anukaran, and following which is called as anusaran. So, especially it is said you should imitate the behavior of one person. It is Ram. Rama's behavior has to be you can imitate. on the other hand krishna's behavior you cannot imitate you have to follow his teachings bhagavad gita <laughs> you cannot imitate his behavior anybody imitating krishna's behavior will be uh, of course he'll be seen as a gone case and he'll actually become a gone case you cannot imitate lord some people come and say krishna had 16108 pipes you have one more and show you will not be able to maintain even one properly what is there correct so such activities cannot be so there are certain leelas of krishna which are laukika leelas laukika leelas are like krishna uh, taking the cows and going to the pastures that is something one can imitate but there are alaukika leelas krishna is killing the demons without any weapons with bare hands cannot be imitated so as such shastras acharya tell very clearly lord ram's behavior yes maryada purushottam that you imitate krishna's behavior don't imitate krishna's teachings you follow yes so one has to be done anukaran one has to be done anusaran okay we'll pause here any questions yes kashika mata ji are ji kya prabhu ji ka naam hello uh, prabhu ji actually uh, i have a question from the previous class that uh, uh, actually uh, every devotee must undergo uh, is it a necessary condition that every devotee must undergo separation from the lord uh, mm-hmm. every devotee should uh, experience separation only then you experience what is bhakti is it uh, a phenomena that has to happen well uh, the separation i will tell you what vishnu chakravarti rakur explains a devotee loves the mood of service and separation 
externally speaking it may be very painful but he loves the mood of separation because when he is in union with krishna he is able to see krishna only as one person in front of him on the other hand when the devotee is in separation from krishna he is able to see krishna everywhere and because he will be able to see krishna everywhere his ecstasy is multiplied thousands of times and that is why a devotee also prefers the mood of separation where he can intensify one's krishna consciousness and krishna also has a desire that the devotee experience this mood of separation not to grow his love for him so devotee also has a desire to grow the prema in heart and krishna also wants the devotee to grow his prema for him so in both cases we find that in both the ways that yes of course this mood of separation is favorably experienced by devotee and also lord wants it this much but uh, devotee has to experience well, that i have not heard any that but a devotee experiences much greater ecstasy when he experiences separation that is clear Uh, prabhu ji actually uh, uh, i read uh, uh, in the narada's uh, shri narada's uh, separation and here it is written that um, uh, actually i had lost it मतलब कुछ बॉडी क्रिएट होती है आई मीन सेपरेशन से आई मीन दे अचीव प्रेमा इन यंगर स्टेट एंड कुछ था ऐसा ओके यू आर टेलिंग अबाउट द सेक्शन वेयर नारदा इज टोल्ड बाय द परमात्मा दैट यू विल नेवर दुर्दर्शोहम कु योगिनाम अपक्व का अपरिपक्व का शाया नाम दुर्दर्शोहम कु योगिनाम आई यू नॉट गेट मदर सो अब मुझे मतलब आपको दर्शन नहीं होंगे मेरे या सो दैट इज फॉर व्हाट that is for increasing the intensity of love nothing he says that later on it's not because you are impure or you are not yet mature mm-hmm. it is because i want you to increase your affection for me and that increase of affection will happen in separation yes that's what lord says okay anyone else has any question queries comment any point that you like you like to share okay great prabhu ji one more point uh, okay apart from sir i mean it's uh, prabhu ji jaise hum na matlab meri roz matlab uh, seva hoti hai mandir mein uh, 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 garland seva hoti hai actually to hum matlab roz jaate hain jaise na to but uh, kuch days aise hote hain jisme hum allowed nahi hote seva mein ये स्पेशल कंडीशन के लिए बट उस टाइम पे क्या होता है कि मतलब एक्चुअली मैं ना कभी कभी मतलब फ्लावर्स तोड़ के ले जाती हूँ भगवान जी के लिए या फिर मतलब हम उस गार्डलैंड में लगा देते हैं कभी कभी फ्रूट्स लेके जाते हैं मतलब तोड़ के तो तो क्या होता है कि मतलब उस टाइम पे हम ना तोड़ नहीं पाते तो मतलब वो बिल्कुल और सेवा में भी नहीं जा पाते तो उस टाइम पे ना मतलब ऐसा लगता है कि मतलब सेपरेशन वाली मतलब फीलिंग आती है थोड़ा मतलब टिंज ऑफ सेपरेशन कह सकते हो मतलब तो तो बट वो टू डेज तक तो रहता है मतलब कि भाई आपका मतलब उस टाइम पे मतलब कीर्तन वगैरह सुन लेते हैं मतलब तो सॉर्ट ऑफ डिस्पोडेंसी मतलब थोड़ी ठीक हो जाती है उसके बाद फिर भूल जाते हैं मतलब उसके बाद फिर फिर वापस से जब फिर वापस से ज्वाइन करते हैं सेवा फिर वापस से चलता है फिर वापस से मतलब ऐसे डाउनफॉल मतलब हो जाता है तो मतलब कभी कभी तो फील होता है मतलब कभी कभी सोचता है कि हमें फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा बट वो एक्चुअली फर्क पड़ रहा होता है मतलब वो क्योंकि शायद में भी अटैचमेंट टुवर्ड्स कृष्णा और सेवा के साथ मतलब हरे कृष्णा तो प्रभु जी मतलब उसको कंटिन्यू मतलब कैसे प्रश्न क्या है आपका मतलब जो सेपरेशन वाली जो मिलेगा मतलब वो कट ऑफ हो जाता है मतलब तो okay, नहीं नहीं करता थोड़ा समझ गए हम थोड़ा प्रयास करेंगे अगर हम भक्त रसामृत पढ़ेंगे तो इन दैट यू विल फाइंड दैट वराह पुराण के और पद्म पुराण के जरा थर्टी टू सेवा अपराधा मैं 
एंड ये सेवा अपराध में वन ऑफ द अपराध इज टू सर्व द डिटीज इन कंटेमिनेटेड स्टेट वो नहीं करना चाहिए तो उस दिन लेकिन एक अच्छी बात है कि आप जितना चाहिए उतना भागवत हम सुन सकते हैं और जितना चाहिए उतना नाम जब कर सकते हैं आप बाकी दिन भगवान की माला बनाते हैं लेकिन उन दिनों में भगवान की माला कर सकते हैं उस प्रकार की सेवा कीजिए ये शास्त्र बताते हैं ठीक है हरे कृष्ण तो थैंक यू ऑल वेरी मच विल क्लोज हियर यहाँ पे हम विराम देंगे विल पॉज हियर एंड वी विल मीट नेक्स्ट वीक एंड नेक्स्ट सैटरडे Sunday and I think one more Saturday is there. Is it Anuj too? Yes, probably. Okay, so that we have three more sessions together. So let's meet again, and I'll try to serve all of you. Thank, Thank you very much. Jagat Guru Shri Prabhu Pad ki jai, Guru Pad ki jai, Guru Pad ki jai, jai. Gaur Premanand ne Hari Hari bol. Hari 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 bol. Hari Krishna. Hari Krishna. Hari Krishna Prabhu ji. Hari Krishna. Hari Krishna. Thank you so much Prabhu ji. Hari Krishna. 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 Hari Krishna